I believe the collective cry of a million mothers around the world is going to birth a movement that is greater than anything we have ever seen. I believe that there's a march of Deborah coming forth. That's the march of righteousness and purity, and it's fearless. We have been prepared for the last years for such a time as now, and the heart, why? Why me? Why do I believe in this? It's because we do have to stand up for this generation. We can rise above what our culture is telling us a woman has to be in this hour. This is our time. This is our hour. And there may never be a time like this. This is the time for the women and girls of America and around the world to wake up and rise up. So we're calling an army of young generation Esthers and Deborahs to rise right now. So that they can stand in who they are and have the foundation of knowing God. You don't have to settle for a generation in our nation being destroyed by deception. It's time for the woman to step out of the shadows of insecurity and fears and shame. Be who God created you to be and set your world on fire. It's time for the women preachers to arise. It's time for the women voices to arise. It's time for the real thing. It's time for the outpouring of Acts chapter two. It's why I believe in this, this call to women to rise up as mothers of a nation, mothers in your family. And if you'll come, and if you'll cry together, God is gonna birth it. I am Deborah. I am Deborah. I am Esther. I am Esther. I am Deborah. I am Esther. For my sons and daughters. For my sons and daughters. Sons and daughters. I will rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up. For my sons and daughters. Beginning today and on October 9th, we will rise up.